Hey guys, welcome back to Fix It Friday, the weekly YouTube series where we talk about video game console repairs, mods, and restorations. This week we have the Sega Saturn. Uh, this console came out in the mid-90s and uh, there are a ton of good games uh, for this system. They're not that easy to find and the systems themselves are actually pretty hard to find these days. But if you can get one of these, I highly recommend it. There's lots of fun stuff to play on this. Anyway, um, this particular unit does not read discs, and unfortunately that's something that happens kind of often with uh, Sega Saturns. They just, um, you know, they power on, everything seems okay, but they just can't seem to read the discs anymore. Um, so today what I'm going to do is show you how to take apart these systems, take a look at the laser, make adjustments to it, and uh, hopefully get your system up and running again. Alright, well, let's get to it. All right, so taking apart one of these is actually really easy. Um, you just need a Phillips screwdriver, and there are five places where you gotta remove screws. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take care of that right now. So a lot of times this battery cover will, will fall out. That's no big deal. Pull this guy off, and there's the Saturn. So this one's a little dirty, unfortunately, it looks like, but I'll take care of that. Um, but yeah, a lot of there's a lot of different models of the Saturn. Most of them have an appearance kind of somewhat similar to this, though. You'll have your drive in the middle, you'll have your power uh, transformer over here, and um, and yeah, so basically there's not too much to do um, in terms of removal. What you do is you just kind of pull this little power cord out and um, then you can disconnect the ribbon cable. I find it easier to disconnect it at, you know, this, the, the drive and, and leave this um, intact on the motherboard because just it's a little harder to get your hands in there to put this back in. Um, once that's done, there's still a piece of conductive paper right here that connects it to the main board. So you just have to come in with a screw driver and just get this last screw out. Okay, so that's it, our laser is free. All right, so the next thing that we have to do is we need to remove this plastic shroud that covers the CD uh, drive because we need to gain access to this little potentiometer that's all the way down there and with this shroud in place, you really can't do that. Thankfully, this is very easy to remove. What you wanna do is you wanna take your two fingers and just kind of pinch right here in the front and it kind of loosens up this like little, these little plastic um, parts that kind of lock it into place. So you like squeeze at the front like you just saw me do and then you hinge it back and you can see here there's like these little hinges here and then these two guys are what hold it in the front. Um, so yeah, thankfully that's it and now we have access to the, to the uh, potentiometer and we're gonna see how it looks and we can make some adjustments to it. All right, so I've got now like a close-up shot on the potentiometer that um, we're gonna be taking a look at. And so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a flat tip screwdriver and we're gonna go there and make a small adjustment to this potentiometer to see if we can get the laser to um, have a little more power and read discs again. So um, what I recommend you do before you touch anything is first take some pictures of how the potentiometer looks before you make any changes. That way, you know, if you wanna revert it back to its original position, you can do so. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in with my, um, my screwdriver and I'm just gonna make a, a very small turn uh, clockwise. And, and so turning it clockwise should increase its, its power. Um, and you, you saw I didn't make a very big change, just like a little tiny change here. Um, and, and, uh, and from here what we're gonna do is we're gonna transition to um, the Sega Saturn again. So we're gonna put this back on the Saturn and we're gonna try out some discs see if they work, and if they don't, we can make adjustments to this potentiometer kind of on the fly, and um, and hopefully we can get it running from there. All right, back in a second. Okay, so now that um, I've got everything reassembled, we're gonna try out the laser and see if it's working now. Um, so I have, as you can see, everything assembled here. Um, just put a test disc on, and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be pinching this little switch here 
Um, this switch here is what tells the Saturn whether the lid is open or closed. So um, in order for it to even, you know, do anything with the disc, I have to trick it into thinking that the lid is closed. So I'm going to just be holding my hand here to uh, trick it into thinking it's closed. Well, that's a good sign. It's already spinning. Um, so the battery on this one, I think, is dead. I got to get through all of these initial. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it sees the, the disc. All right, that's really good. Okay, cool. Looks like Virtual Fighter is working. So uh, yeah, this this Sega Saturn is fixed. Um, I was gonna show you guys, you know, in case that initial. Um, adjustment doesn't work, you can kind of leave the Saturn in this state and then just go backwards um, and, you know, use your screwdriver to, um, to make more adjustments. But in this case, it looks like my first adjustment was a success, so I don't need to do anything else. Um, there's only one final thing to note, which I'm going to just kind of talk about quickly. So I've had occasionally some Saturns where if this um, shroud is removed, the laser works, but if it's on, it does not. And I don't exactly know why that's the case. I think it might be like rubbing against this part of the shroud. Um, maybe that has something to do with the stepper motor that, that you know, makes the, um, makes the laser move. I'm not entirely sure why that's the case, but if that happens to your Saturn, so in other words, if your Saturn works without the shroud, for now, I would say just take the shroud off and you're good to go. Um, I have to test this one really quickly. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Yeah, this one seems to be fine. But um, occasionally you will find ones that have issues with that shroud, and so sometimes I just take them off. Um, if anyone has a better solution than that, I'd love to hear it in the comments below because, you know, I like to keep these original if possible. Um, but, but yeah, so, uh, that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, then, um, I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Um, we have videos like this out every Friday and, um, yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.